YouTube, what's good? It's your boy No Nificent coming back with another sneaker review. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same thing, like I did when I wore the, you know, the whole PG3 video, uh, quite frankly, it's because I don't shower. Um, no, no, actually, it's it's, it's the same day. Uh, it was a bunch of sneakers that came all at once. I didn't expect this to come this early. I didn't expect this shoe to come this early. The PG3s that I had to come this early. There's two more shoes that. Really didn't come early. I just didn't expect it to come that fast. So the, these shoes all came at once. So bear with your boy. But today, you read the title. Um, the sneakers release app, the surprise drop that occurred, I think it was uh, Tuesday of this week. Um, if you were lucky, you were able to get this shoe. Fortunately, I was able to get this shoe. This is the first time I'm seeing the cool grays up close and personal. Of course, I'm talking about the Jordan 4s. Those same Jordan 4s that released back in 2004, so it's been, what, well, close to 15 years since it's been released. Uh, from what I've seen on the pictures, from what people have said, that this shoe is close to the exact same make, colorway, material, I think was upgraded with the 2019 versus the 2004 version, but they stay true. Um, and from what I understand, again, don't quote me on this, and from what I'm reading is that there's only... 149,000 pairs. Is, that's what I'm hearing. Now, this it's a family size release. I think it's going to be on Foot Locker, all your major retailers, stores. But if the number is at 149,000, that tells me that, or somewhere, even if, even if it's slightly above, these shoes might sell out. Because, again, we haven't seen these shoes in, yeah, close to 15 years. So that's quite a while. So, with all the chip and jab and yabba yabba, I really just say yabba yabba. I think I just said that. But anyway, with that said and done, let's get straight in the shoe. You know how I do my reviews. I usually talk about the shoe. We'll do a little comparison. We'll do the super zoom. We'll do the on feet. We do it all here. We do it all here. But anyway, so let's get into it. Nike, we know how I feel about you. Much love to the sneakers app. I, at this point, I really don't care if this box is clear, crystal clear with the shoes inside there. I'm going to be here to make sure I see this uh, this shoe up and close and personal. So now, Jordan 4s, and before I pull out the cool grays, here we go. I got to I gotta pull out the breads. And it's got to be a comparison, because I, I had the Travis Scotts that came out last year, those those blue Travis Scotts that came out last year, but your boy, uh, your boy parted ways with that. But I ain't parted ways with these. These are the breads that came out earlier this year, the bread 4s. So I want to do a comparison to see what the differences are between the Bread 4s and the Cool Grays. So, like every, well, like lately, the videos I've been doing, I think this box is probably going to have a QR code because this is technically a newer release. This shoe is slated to release August 1st. Again, at major retail stores. Nike, you see? Again, shout out to you, Nike. And let's see. Colorway reads... Cool gray, chrome dark charcoal, and I believe there's a hint of maize in the shoe. So let's get this thing popping. Of course, if you want to look at the box, you got the Jordan 4 flight box. You can see right there. Uh, the QR code. So your pairs should be looking like this with the QR code. I already went over that previously in multiple videos, but I won't mind saying it again to simply scan your QR, I think there's a QR on the tongue of this shoe. Uh, once you scan that QR, the number of the website will pop up. It will go briefly to a Nike website before it transfers to another Nike website. But if you kind of hit the back button on your web page or whatever web browser you're using on your phone, when you do that QR scan, you should see that the number that's displayed in the web page will match the number, at least in the shoe. The sticker that you tagged, the sticker that you're looking at in the tongue, those numbers should match. That's how you know if you have a real pair or not. So anyway, let's get into the shoe. This is my first look at the Jordan Cool Grays. And oh my God. This is beautiful. Uh, uh, wow. Oh, uh, I see one significant difference though. But, it's actually a good thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
2019 Jordan 4 Cool Grays. Again, it will release August 1st. Glad to have these. I don't have to sit there and wait 10 o'clock in the morning doing one of these or doing some type of rain dance. Hopefully, they, you know, hoping with, that I get the shoe during the release. But we know, hey, that's not, not going to happen. So anyway, Jordan 4 Cool Grays. Jordan 4 Breads. Now, let's just get into the details of the shoe because I can see this right now. You got the little white midsole, right? You got the air bubbles down there. Now, the maze, the hint of yellow, is actually within the air bubble. You'll find a hint of maze on the Jordan logo on the bottom, on the upper pad of the shoe. Uh, but you can see the standard Jordan 4 with the netting on the side panels, right? Netting on the toe box. We've got the lace locks. It's, it's, this, is the, this is what's considered the chrome charcoal portion it's those uh lace locks that's up here of course you got the jordan flight but you can see differences between the cool grays and the breads immediately so starting with the bottoms right when well, the bottoms over here and i didn't even look at the shoe but i'm pretty sure there's a nike air yeah it is there's a nike air on the bottom on here first the jordan logo on this side now if you flip it and look at the heel Again, you got the bread on one side, you got the cool grades on the other. So, the Jordan 4 has that chrome, but Jordan Bread has that Nike Air. Quite frankly, I am, I, I'm fine with both of them. Now, when I look on these flaps on the heel, this is more so like a rubberish material. This is pretty much upper, upper suede. Uh, people do say it's new buck, but this is kind of like a premium... The feel of it is, is at least the upper overlays, they, they look like premium suede to me. But, hey, people say new buck as well, so, eh. But I will say this. This will not feel as bad as this on the heel of your foot. You can feel this. You probably won't be feeling this because this is nice and soft. Um, quite honestly, I am very amazed at this design. I didn't expect this to look that detailed and when you compare it to the 2004 release and keep in mind jordan actually the four release they're, they're very close jordan himself actually wore cool grays it wasn't the jordan fours it was a jordan nine and i believe it was the jordan 11 so back then when he played for the wizards he wore the cool grays and i guess jordan's marketing team said you know what let's take that cool gray effect and put it on every little retro that we can and see what happens because 2004 when they came out with these whew, blew off now i was not the recipient of this shoe back in 2004 but this is 2019 so your boy had to get these in so i'm glad to have this in the collection again if you went and got the breads i'm not sure that there's not going to be the same amount of productions in terms of numbers like the bread fours was there was a lot of pairs that these made i don't think there was a lot of pairs of these made but again it's going to be family release but that doesn't guarantee that, oh, it's going to be sitting in the stores. Me, personally, these might sell out. If the, if the numbers are correct and the men's pair is 149000 or 146000 nationwide, I'm not even hyping this shoe up. This, this is straight fire. I mean, look, again, we're going to look at that super zoom version. We're going to look at the on feet. But I want you to carefully look at this shoe. Look at the details. And the super zoom is really going to enhance anything you will probably see from the naked eye because I don't see any glue stains on this at all. Now, certain pairs, from what I understand, may be good, may not be good. I don't know. I do know that what I'm looking at so far, that this was crafted very, very well. And again, you'll see that super zoom up close and personal view of these shoes when we get to it. Matter of fact, we should get to that, I say right about now. So, let's take a look at this Super Zoom version. For those people, if it's your first time tuning in to my channel, you know that when I do reviews, I like the backstory to it. I typically do the, the, the on feet, but I do a little, little extra. A little extra. That's, that's because of this right here. This uh, macro lens, where I can see things magnified times 15. So, you're looking at things magnified times 15. You're seeing the ins and out of this shoe. Of this shoe magnified meaning 
eh, it's probably better than the human eye. So, of course, before we do that, actually, I wanted to go over the inside, too, because let's just remove the shoe tree. Make sure your shoe trees, they should come like this. Both sides. Both sides. I'm curious to see... Yes. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the super zoom. But on the inside of the shoe, you can definitely see the QR sticker on here. I thought it was in the tongue, but I forgot that the tongue usually has Air Jordan this way. Uh, and then I learned, for some reason, the reason why... <laughs> that these Jordan 4s get released this way with the Air Jordan or whatever logo they put on there is always upside down when you're looking at it towards you is that back in the day people played basketball when they played basketball they flipped the tongue over and it looked like this when they were playing but this ain't back in the day this this is now this is 2019 we wear our stuff up and like this so a little something something if you didn't know I didn't know I found out about a week ago but um, yeah I mean, the insides are nice. It's no different from the Jordan breads. Um, just checking a few things. I did want to see the padding to see to see if we got any uh, the insoles. Check out the insoles. The insole is uh, it's just standard insole. Of course, make sure you have this right here. Just I'm just saying I've seen some fake pairs that just goes all the way around. Check your pairs, but yeah, the insole. Ooh. Uh, it's probably, pro yeah, this is definitely from the shoe itself. Oh, also, yeah, check the insides too. Don't forget to check the insides. But, again, I'll show you this on Super Zoom. The insole, like I said, it's not really premium insole, but it's just your basic standard Jordan insole. Uh, man, I can't believe I got this in the collection. This is so dope. All right, so enough of that. Let's just get to the Super Zoom so you can see the ins and out of this shoe. Which you probably couldn't see from the human eye. So, your boy Mel Nefferson, we are out. Subscribe to me. I'll subscribe to you. And before I actually go to the next transition to the next video, I will say count your blessings. Every day is a blessing. Don't take it for granted. So, your boy Mel Nefferson, let's get to that Super Zoom view. Alright, YouTube, let's look at the Super Zoom view of the Jordan 4 Cool Grays. As we zoom in, Let's just zoom in on that nice Jordan logo you can see right there. Can't be seen by the human eye, but you can see that these things were perfected. I like the stitching. Stitching is pretty accurate. Wow, it's enhanced so big. You can see my big finger right there, but look at that. Now, interesting that that overlaps that, but hey, hey. I want to see if there's any, there's some slight glue stains right there. But you can't see that with the human eye. That's why I'm magnifying this times 15. That is what you're looking at. So I'm looking at really the stitching. I want to see how good the stitching was. I already know the material feels premium. Um, you're looking at the heel of the shoe right now. And this looks so fantastic, man. There we go with the lace lock right here. You can see the stitching is pretty good right there. Oh man, there's that charcoal. Ooh, look at the netting right there. My God, this is this is fantastic. It's fantastic. So let's just look on the midsole. That's where we're at right now. Um, no, that's a little. I don't know what that is. Enhance that. There's a little marking right here. Again, not Nick picking, but again, this is also magnified by <laughs> times 15. So I'm trying to see if there's any, let me see what that is. Oh, never mind, that's lint. <laughs> but look at the material, just carefully look at it. I'm holding this like steady. So just look at the, the, the new buck material and look how fine this is. Now I expect over time, based off the painting on the midsole, that this might start to crack. This, this in my opinion, I think might crack probably years 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 down the road but not like right away um let me put this right here and if we look at the ooh, i like the star design on the outsole of the shoe kind of towards the bottom uh, that looks pretty cool and of course you will see glue stains on the front of the shoe that's where we're looking at right now towards the toe toe box but magnified this thing is just a thing of beauty right so let's look at the netting focus right there that thing is dope all the way down to the 
laces themselves. There's the Jumpman Jogo. Did I say Jogo? Not to say logo. <laughs> anyway, lucky on the inside. I'm pretty sure the QR code is down here. Let me see if I can focus that. Yes, it is. The QR code is located right inside there, inside the shoe. And if you can see that, you probably can. Uh, that's pretty dope, though. I like I like that. And of course, on the back of the shoe, this is where you see the Air Jordan. Now, this is kind of hard to see because it's yellow on yellow, but I can show you it, it's there. Got the flight, flight on deck for the tongue of the shoe, but this netting right here, I just wanted to see something here. Boom, look at that. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, that's really amazing that they're able, like the, the stitching, the details of the shoe. Like, I'd be surprised if this sits in stores. If it does, uh, I'd be I'd be highly shocked that this this would literally sit in stores and nobody would think to think twice to get it. I mean, the price point's at 190, so I've seen Jordan fours, Travis Scotts go higher than that. Um, so yeah, man, let's let's just do this on foot because right now I'm just looking at the shoe. I'm. <laughs> kind of drooling right now i want to put this on foot and see what it looks like so let's let's put the on foot video on and then I'll go from there